Hello everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and today I'm coming to do an, I guess an update and a um, pregnancy update video. Um, I am going to answer the questions too. I was going to do it next week because I go to the doctor, but I'm going to, you know, I guess update it as I an answer the questions that I have here. Um, so, uh... I, th I think I did a haul video last week. I have another one I have to upload. Um, for all those, I think I said it in my um, haul video. All those that reached out to me, thank you very much. I'm I'm doing well. I was just very tired. I went through like a, a month or so of just being very, very, when I say tired and drained, um, I was just extremely tired but thankfully the past two weeks I have had like a lot of energy I have been able to get up you know early in the morning um and just do a lot take care of a lot of things during the evening I do chill more um after dinner you know I do my little night routine you know clean up the kitchen and stuff like that but um during the evening like I said I do um like now since the kids are back in the, in school, so say from the time they get home, uh, maybe a little hour before they get home, up until dinner, I'm just like chill mode, and then I, uh, you know, clean up, do everything, you know, try to get everything ready for the next day, and like I just I've been having a lot of energy. Last week I redid my daughter's room. Because she will be the one sharing the room with the baby um, when the baby gets a little older. We have the crib in there. We have a cradle in our bedroom for the baby. And, you know, when it um, gets older, then it'll be in the room with her. So I wanted to, you know, uh, you know, update her room and not make her feel as if her room was being taken over. Uh, so um, I painted... Uh, what we got I did a headboard for her room a headboard so I can't wait to show y'all the reveal the headboard I found on Craigslist I found it like a year ago free on Craigslist so I painted that um I painted a dresser a, a vintage dresser my grandmother gave me years ago finally got a chance to paint that I have to paint a hutch if y'all remember a hutch I found curbside with the buffet I put the hutch in the room because the baby things will be going in there. So hopefully I'll paint that this weekend. I still have to wax the dresser. I um, have to get the comforter. Well, I know where the comforter is. Comforter and pillows, and I'll be picking that up tomorrow. But I really um, got that done. I'm so excited. It looks so nice. I just got rid of a lot of stuff. I also took um, like all the toys that were in her room. I put them in our family room. I still have to work on that because our family room was like in order. Then when I put the toys in, it doesn't look as um, decluttered as it did before. But I was thinking her room will clean her room and then just get some mess. I mean, even if I tell her, put the, you know, if you're going to take out another toy or um, put the rest back, I mean, it will just get a mess. So I said, if it's in the family room and she has to play, you know, she can't leave the family room at night until she put everything back up. Or she, and, and then also she, because you can see, you know, right in the family room. Or you can't, um, she can't take out something without putting the other thing back. So trying to control, the, control it a little. Still have to declutter some more of her toys and get those organized that are in the family room. But overall, like I said, I really like the way her room turned out. Um, yeah, so I was able to get a lot done. So I have like a lot of energy. Um, been going to the grocery store. I went to like a few grocery stores yesterday. I didn't have any hot flashes. <laughs> thank God. And also I've been, um, doing like some freezer meals. I've been, I want to do like two freezer meals a week. So like today I'm making meatloaf. And my goal is to make two. And I'm going to freeze one and we'll eat the other. Last week we had um, like Salisbury steak and stuffed bell pepper. So I made, you know, like a extra Salisbury steak and stuffed bell pepper 
want my outer bell pepper to freeze. Um, so my goal is to have as many freezer meals prepared. So in November, when I have the baby, I don't really, I don't have to worry about anything. I, you know, I can just take out a meal, warm it up, and I'm not going to have to, you know, give me a little time to get myself back together. But anyway, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'm going to go ahead and answer these questions, any of those that apply. Um, how far along are you? Um, I'm 26 weeks and 5 days. Um, I don't even know how many months that is. 26 weeks and 5 days. And like I said, my no due date is November 25th. Um, how big is the baby? I didn't even look that up. Let me see. Um, 14 inches and it weighs like 1 pound. A little over 1 and a half pounds. That's just so little, right? Um, the baby is moving a lot, uh, been move, moving a lot. Now, now it even, you know, when I'm sitting up, you know, I feel a lot of movement if I'm doing stuff. Um, total weight gain. I went to the doctor two weeks ago. I go back Monday and that's because they were taking, um, so long to set up my ultrasound appointment where I told you about the positive, um, down syndrome. So finally I do have a appointment for that but anyway so when I went to the doctor two weeks ago I was 204 pounds so at first I was like what I think like 198 or something so what's it like maybe six pounds that I've gained total because I was losing weight at first so I gained four pounds um maternity clothes I'm still doing the maxi dresses I do see I'm going to have a problem because the weather will be changing soon. So, probably get some stretch pants and t-shirts. I really don't want to spend a lot of money on, um, you know, maternity clothes. I really don't. So, I'll probably just get some t-shirts. Because um, even a couple of t-shirts I've been wearing, you can tell they're starting to fit now. But I'll probably just some stretch pants and t-shirts. Something that I could wear after. Um, sleep. I've been, I've been sleeping well. I went to bed last night. I went to bed last night about 10 o'clock. I was really tired. Um, I went to bed about 10. I woke up at 5, but I really didn't get up, up, and downstairs like I wanted to t until about 6. I'm trying to get back to my 5 o'clock in the morning because well, five, two hours is 5, 6. Is really crucial you know to really have prayer time and study time in the morning my daughter's been getting up early so she <laughs> she comes down while I'm reading and she's talking and talking so um, she is excited about school um, best moment this week uh, I will say my best moment this week is finishing up my daughter's room. Um, I'm, like I said, I feel so good about that. And I wanted to make sure everything was complete. Now, the only thing that I have not done yet is gotten, like, bedding for the baby bed. And somebody from our church gave us a baby bed. I was so thankful for that. So, we got a baby bed in the room. Um, so, I haven't... Um, gotten any bedding or anything for the baby bed because at first I didn't want to know what the baby was so I'm trying to go and find things you know neutral and it's very hard and it's just not fun so when they was you know I was like well you know when they do the ultrasound I think I'm ready I want to find out because I want to be able to buy you know the colors and I don't want to have to just buy stuff for newborn I do want to be able to buy you know stuff if I see something at a reasonable price especially when I'm going to garage sales I can get something that'll like extend out a little but right now I can't buy I can't buy much of anything so um so like I said the best thing this week was finishing up her room I just haven't gotten bedding yet for the crib um and finished that side of the room so that that'll be finished once I find out what I'm having and then um when I find something that I like that will match in my daughter's room as well um, sim symptoms, um, just the symptoms now are the energy, a lot of energy. I have been purging like crazy. I, I took at least five to six truckloads of stuff to the thrift store. Took one, um, Saturday, Friday, one of those days I took a, a load to the thrift store, stuff from my daughter's room. 
so yeah I've um that's been my symptoms just a lot of energy food cravings not many food cravings right now I also noticed like my appetite is kind of like going back to how I was like wanting cookies I haven't wanted any Reese cups but wanting cookies um I don't eat a lot is one thing I can only eat small portions I can't eat large portions um food aversions still the Reese cups I can't eat the Reese cups, but I can't eat a chocolate chip cookie or a cookie. Um, gender uh, was still unknown at this time. Um, labor signs, none. I have been feeling the Braxton Hicks. They're not really strong. You know, they're like mild, but I know they're, they're there. They're like, your stomach gets a little tight. Kind of like takes my breath away a little bit, you know, like, you know, but it's, it's very mild. Um, belly button in or out, it's still in, kind of almost like flush. Um, what I miss, um, now I'm not pr missing much of anything because I'm almost back like to my normal, um, schedule and routine. So I'm not missing anything. Oh, back, but the sleep and missing. So maybe it is something I'm missing. It is so hard to get comfortable in the bed i mean I, all i can do is like roll <laughs> roll from one side to the other it's like roll and roll you know to the left or to the right i have a body pillow and my when my husband is in the bed you know he don't want it in between us so it's hard and when I put it on the other side where I get out the bed it's hard because if I have to have to get out the bed I gotta fold it up to roll out the bed so um, so that was, that's it getting comfortable it is very 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 hard for me to get comfortable in the bed um what am I looking forward to um, I'm looking forward to just meeting the baby. You know, I think all of us when we're pregnant, we go through that. Like, I just cannot wait to meet you. I can't wait to see, um, his or her personality. Because, you know, they just have such precious personalities. Another person that, uh, we just, you know, didn't expect to have in our family. So I think it's just, that is just so um, funny as well as well as amazing another individual person um, so that's what I'm looking forward to um, milestones is the energy is um, one of the milestones um, that's it so that's all let me see my bump you can see So pretty, not huge. I've I've been much bigger. <laughs> I still have what September, October, November. Still have three months to go. My, my my husband acting like I'm big. He was like, "Oh my goodness, you're gonna get like twice the size of that." Uh, I don't know, but it's tripped out because I don't feel. I know I'm bigger. You know what I'm saying, but I don't feel huge. Um, you know stuff like that, but anyway, so uh, That is it. That is my little update. Um, I should be coming back to do a tag video and Trying to get back in the swing of videos. My my key has been like, oh, you haven't been doing any videos like oh, what's wrong with you? You slacking? <laughs> they tripping so I'm hope to hope to get some more videos out. I'm just so excited to be able to you know do things around the house um, check, check things off my to-do list, things that I want to have done. You know how it is when you're about to have a baby. It's like you just want everything in order before the baby gets here. I mean, it just makes things smoother, you know. Um, so that is all. I would like to thank you guys for watching. This is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com. Bye-bye.